Hey gang, it's Summer. Welcome to Power Bar Express 45 minutes. Um, you need a weight and a bar. It can be a tabletop, back of a chair, back of a sofa, something for balance. Let's get started. Playlist, come to your bar, find a flat back stretch. Bring your fingertips light to touch. Step your hips over your ankles, parallel your belly with your Inhale, find a modified cow pose, dip through your lower back, shine your, dip through your belly, shine your chest and face forward. As you exhale, find a half pose, round your back towards the ceiling. Inhale through cow, dip through your lower back. Exhale, cat round, arch through your upper back. You got it. So this is your modified cats and cows. We are just looking for articulation through our spine, an opportunity to wake up, warm up. And as you move and breathe here, I would just offer you this. Um, one, to invite you to the celebration. I am one year laid off today. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy, Train, but a year ago today, I was in a dark place. I wanted out of my current situation. It's been a long time coming, um, but there was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear, uh, a lot of fear of the uncertainty. Not much different than what we're going through today, right? So. My goal and my offer to you is to lean into the challenge and not see it as just the challenge. See it as an opportunity, an opportunity for growth, an opportunity to reassess, reprioritize, and maybe even evolve. Yeah. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let go. Come to a neutral spine. Inhale your right arm high. Think about right all the twist, but you're barring with the twist. Bend a lot to your opposite knee. Square your hips towards your mat and twist through your waist. Roll your top shoulder back, maybe roll through your wrist, maybe through your shoulder. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread the needle. Bend through your right knee as you press your right arm beneath your body. Inhale, bend your left, reach up. Exhale, thread, bend through your right. Inhale, reach. Exhale, break. keep going. You can go to the beat of music. It's a little bit dancey. I would like to tell you this is the sassiest thing we're going to do. It's not. Yeah. This is one of those feel-good parts of class. You don't get a lot of them in 45 minutes. So lean in. Come into your breath. Just find some movement. Have some fun. More. Inhale up. Exhale, flat back stretch. Inhale, your left arm high, bend through your right knee. Exhale, thread the needle, bend through your opposite knee. Inhale to reach. Exhale to thread. Inhale to reach. Exhale to thread. It's a little bit dancey, it is fun. Nobody's watching. And if you have someone there watching, you tell them to jump in the fun. Last few. Last three. Two. Inhale up. Exhale, flat back stretch. Stay for breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, mind your head. Turn your right side body towards your bar. Find second position. Point your toes at 10 and 2. Track your knees over your toes. Extend your arm to the side. Now lift your elbow. Think you about like you're hugging each bar. Come on. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Squeeze up. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Knees up, lift your heels, bend your knees, flat heels, pinch it, releve, plie, flat foot, squeeze up, releve, plie, flat foot, squeeze up, keep going, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. On the releve, okay, for those of you that just joined because I was really bossy about that, it's just a calf raise, it's just a calf raise. Squeeze your calf into the back of your knee, like up through your lower leg. You hold the calf raise, the releve for your plie, just bend your knees. Just bend your knees, stack your shoulders over your hips, tuck your tailbone under. So instead of a squat, uh -huh, we're ballerinas today, everything's stacked right here. So like I'm a piece of bread in a toaster, right? If you hinge forward, you burn your girls. If you hinge back, you burn your butts. No way. So good. As you come to the flat foot, you guys, dig your heels into your mat. Use your glutes, use your inner thighs to squeeze yourself up to the top. So we relax the top, we squeeze the top. We're just warming up. Turn on the heels. Five more seconds. Last two. Hold your plie at a hip thrust. Send your hips to the side and squeeze up. 
lower, send it, squeeze, lower, to the side, squeeze it up, lower, away from your bar, pinch it, lower, away, pinch, keep going. Notice your hip abductors light up. I want you to think about a goal post. If we get football this year, a goal post, you're tracing the bottom half, yeah? So send your hips all the way over the side, then squeeze them up at the side, yes. I told you it was going to be sassy. So sassy is fun and you know it, come on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You get to move on. Hold your plie. Plie down. Step back to curtsy lunge. Step back out to your curtsy. Plie to curtsy. Plie, curtsy. Plie, curtsy. It is fast. Stay low. Keep your hips low. They do not raise. This is easier. This is easier. I don't want it. Stay low. When you keep your hips low, you burn through your biggest muscles faster. So we get out faster. And it's just a warm up. Come on. Last three. Maybe you're winded, it's fine. Last two. Second position, plie. Relevé, hold and pulse. Add a baby back, flex. Squeeze your shoulder blade back. For four, three, two. Release your heels, squeeze up. Bring your inside foot towards the back. Mountain pose. Turn towards your bar. Exhale, flat back stretch. Stay ready, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, lunge your head. Inhale, halfway lift, a real one this time. Press your shins, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Turn your left side body towards the bar. Step out to second. Again, toes at 10 and 2. Elbow up. Relevé, plié. Left foot, squeeze up. Relevé, plié. Left foot, squeeze up. Lift your heels. Bend your knees. Drop your heels. Pinch it up. You've got it. So when we talk about challenges, we show up on our mats. We welcome the physical challenge, right? We know there's a benefit at the end of this thing. And even if it's not instant gratification, like immediate validation, there's a long-term benefit. The short-term benefit's really just for your mental health. The mental challenge. That's the thing. I don't want you to go through the motions here. I want you to create a mind-muscle connection to be present in your body. Think about it. Yes, you can like go through autopilot, but you miss so much of the benefit. We begin to space out. Our thoughts begin to wander. Lean into this. Think about it. What do you need to be doing? Squeeze your calves. Press your knees back. Talk through your lower belly. Engage through your lower abdominals. So good. Do more. Hold your plie at the bottom. Plie, curtsy. Plie, curtsy. Plie, curtsy. Plie. My bars I have some. Curtsy, plie, keep it up. Step it out wide. Yes, friends. For four, three, two. Last one, hold your plie. Plie to the right, thrust it up. Save it. Thrust, pinch, lower, thrust, pinch it up. You've got it. Hold the thrust as you come up. Create a new sensation in your abductors, in your inner thighs. And think about it. Lean in. Lean into the mental challenge as well as the physical. You can do it. You can do it. We're still just warming up. I know. I know. It's not funny. Last three. Two. Second position, plie. Low lunge to the top of your back. Step your back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. Grab your dumbbell to make the top of your back. Open up, second position on the bar. Let's do some stuff. All right, we're in second position. Get your feet set, but then go back to curtsy. So position yourself because we're going to come back here. But find your curtsy lunge. I want your best curtsy lunge. So drop your back knee down. Step your front knee over your ankle. Overhead tricep extension and curtsy. Step out to a plie. It's a narrow press in the middle. Tricep extension. Narrow press. The narrow press happens if you move, friends. Sink it down to the side. 
sink and tricep extension into the side. Sink low, low in your hips. They do not come up. They stay at the same height. That's where you get the work. That's why we don't have to stay in this forever. And make no mistake, this is cardio. It doesn't count as a cardio burst, but your heart rate should be going up. Your biggest muscles are working. It's a bigger movement. Uh-huh. Now we already talked about the toaster. This time, your arms in the toaster, right? Your elbow can go up and down. It can't go side to side, none of this stuff. It's a narrow press. Squeeze your shoulder down your back. It'll press your weight up as you move. Tricep extension. Elbow on a front. Tricep extension. Elbow on front. You've got it. So the tricep extension's in your curtsy. You move to the narrow press to come to your second position plie. So this is where you land in your plie. In your curtsy to move. Plie. Curtsy. Plie. Shape lower. This will happen. We all begin to stand up. Because it's hard. It's freaking hard. That's why we're doing it. Stay in the work, burn through your legs. One thing I love about bar, if you want like a solid leg day, go to bar class. I know it sounds the opposite, but ooh, ooh, leg intensive workouts, bar class, friends. And this kind of baloney is why. Keep going. Five more seconds. Last three. Two, hold your curtsy traffic extension. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, drop your back knee, touch it to the ground. Yes, it's hard, get lower, more than you wanna go. You can hinge forward slightly, work into your right butt cheek. Now if your butt cheek's on fire, hinge back through your left quad. There's no escape, either way, your strongest muscles are working. Squeeze through your tricep, pull your bicep behind your ears, four. Last three, full range of motion. Two, curtsy lunge, bring your elbow in front. Exhale, lateral leg raise with a pec deck. Curtsy to close, send it up. Curtsy, close, out, in, flex it. So good. Tell yourself the full range of motion feels amazing because it does. You get out of this curtsy lunge. You don't have to keep low. You don't have to keep your knees bent. You get to stretch and extend. In your curtsy lunge, you've been here before. I know you're fatigued. Sink down into it. I want the knee tap. The knee tap is here to keep you honest. Now, if that's asking too much, fair. Just sink low. Sink lower than you want to go. Yeah, so where you're like uncomfortable and then like two inches lower. Because discomfort, you guys, is where we're living right now. Discomfort is that opportunity. We have these awkward conversations. We have these awkward life moments, these meetings of people. We don't really know what to do. I'm not talking just the social climate. I'm talking like the COVID climate and whatever other weirdness we could have anticipated. This is better than all that. Keep going, keep going. As you squeeze the top, flex through your heel. Curl your toes. Squeeze your back. As you lower to curtsy, pinch your chest. Squeeze your back at the top. Pinch your chest at the bottom. The more you squeeze your chest and your back, the less sensation on your shoulder. And I've already hit your shoulder. Remember, remember, uh-huh, uh-huh. So it can't completely turn off but you can move the work around. I want the work in your chest and back. This is intentional, but it's up to you to squeeze it. The exercise alone is not enough. Hold the top in three. Last two, pull it up. Circle forward, circle forward, circle forward, circle forward. It's teeny freaking tiny. Bend your standing knee. Now lift your outside heel higher. Squeeze your obliques higher, hold buckets. Trace the golf ball with your knee, with your heel. The movement comes from your shoulder. Squeeze through your glute. It's getting real. It's getting real. Teeny, tiny. <sighs> Looks like nothing. Burns like a mother. This is where you live in bar. Come on. Last three. Yes, you can. Two. Reverse your circles. Oh, my God. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Just decide. Decide you're going to do it. Look at that. Everybody wanted to skate. Everybody wanted to pull out, but you didn't. You still go. All the times you hold back in life, every time you're challenged, how far do you push? Do you think about the end goal? Do you think about what you want most? Or do you think about the discomfort of right now? Both fair. Stay in the work. You are worth this work. You can do it. Pinch it tight. Get your heel higher. I want you. 
to imagine you're in the studio, right? It's the good old days where we can touch. I have my hand under your heel. Uh huh. A little higher. Little higher. See, I'm not lifting it. You're lifting it. I'm just prompting you to dig deeper because I know what you can do. I see how strong you are. You need to see what I see. Lift it higher. Four. Holy buckets. Three. Last two. Step it out wide. Step to the top of your mat. Roll lunge to the top. Drop your dumbbell. Mario jumps the air. Hop it up. Touch down. Hop. Touch down. Hop. Touch down. Hold your toes. Up, up, up. Big cardio, big cardio. Go, go, go. We're into the meatiest part of your butt cheek. We've been out of it. You've been mostly on your right side, yeah? Left side's fresh. Fresh butt cheek. Come on, come on. It's the strongest thing you have. Drive it up. Drive it up. Bigger. Point your toes. Crank your music. Higher and faster. Five. Last three. Two. Low lunge, grab your dumbbell. Open up second position on your body. Let's go back, go back. Right side still. Releve. Lift your dumbbell. We add a bicep with the complex. Plie, everything lowers. Flat foot, 90 degrees. Hip thrust up. What? I know. Releve, plie. Flat foot, hip thrust. Releve, plie. Flat foot, hip thrust. Squeeze it up. Lower down. Reset. Thrust up. Everything lifts. Lowers. Flat. Squeeze it. Releve, plie. Flat foot, hip thrust. Releve, plie. Flat foot, hip thrust. Think about it. It's the mental challenge as well as the physical. You can't just brute strength through this. Although I do love some brute strength. Come on. Even for ballerinas. Even for ballerinas. I am the most like... I'm the shortest, stumpiest, non-graceful girl in the world. And I'm a bar instructor, right? You're fine here. You're fine here. With a bicep curl. We're breaking it up into pieces. If you've ever taken a bar class or any class at Power Life, you've been in some sort of squat wide position with a bicep curl. This is where you can go on autopilot. Not today, friends. At the top. Flex your bicep. It'll bring your weight six inches from your shoulders. Lower to your plie. Stretch it out most of the way. On the flat foot, you hold it 90 and hip thrust up. Releve, plie, flat foot hold, hip thrust up. So you break up your bicep curl. You work the top, stretch it out, hold. You have to keep flexing. You have to keep flexing. Squeeze your prop. So good. Few more. Come on, come on. Squeeze it tighter. Hold your plie in five. Last three, two, plie. Stay on your toes. Bring your dumbbell to 90 degrees and your elbow pulse. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Flex, flex, grip your dumbbell. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Pull your calves into the back of your knees. Sink your hips in line with your knees. Flex, flex. Flex, there is a sink. There's no lift. There's no belt. You sink, sink, sink for five. Last four. Three, two, flat foot plie. Bring your elbow behind your back. Turn your palm forward. Three quarters plie to the lat pull and press. Squeeze it in. Press it up three quarters. Pull it in. Press it up. 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 Inhale lower. Exhale, press three quarters. Only three quarters. Come on. You've got it. All right, we just hit our biceps. Back and biceps work together. They're like secondary muscles when we work either one. So you should feel some bicep burn because you're getting the extension. That's okay. We want you to bring your elbow so far behind you that you can use your lats, your back muscles beneath behind your armpits. Press it out, pull it in. Press it out, pull it in. Flare through your lats, squeeze your shoulder back. Flare through your lats, squeeze your shoulder back. So good. I want you to feel like you could build a cramp right here. Right here, friends. Your bicep will take care of itself. Come up three quarters the way only. Three quarters. We will not straighten our legs. We will not straighten our legs. We will not straighten our legs. What are we not going to do? Straight. You said it. You were coerced, but you've named it. You made it a thing. Come on. Keep on going. Yes, it's burning. Send your knees back. Light up your inner thighs even more. Last three. Two. 
two, hold your plie, arm extension, knees back. Back, 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 back. Now my elbow's down, but could you lift it up? Notice how lifting your elbow up, turning your palm down, lights up a different part of your shoulder. So we've been here for the lat pull and press, it's on fire, try something different. Different sensation. Press back, press back, press back, press back. Five, lower, roll, three. Last two, plie, squeeze it up towards your bar, drop your dumbbell, you've got lateral high knees. Four high knees, jump the length of your mat, four high knees. Jump the length of your mat, four high knees. Jump the length, four high knees. Jump the length. So you get inner thigh long on the jump. Like you need more. Yeah, you do. It's a different angle. You're fine. On the high knees, you guys, turn it up. Use the strength of your belly to drive your knees to your chest. Imagine you could knee yourself in the face. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but that's where we're going, right? Lean into it. Crunch into it. So often, we lean back to get our knees up like there's a gold star for that. Crunch into it. Come on. Yes. Get your heart rate up. It's an easier cardio burst. It's an easier one. It's just for fast. It's just for speed. Uh-huh. Five more seconds. Push through the last four, three, two. Turn towards your bar. Power legs. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Stand up. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Squeeze up. Releve, plie, flat foot, squeeze up. Catch your breath, it's active recovery. But I want power legs, so you're parallel to the sides of your feet with the sides of your mat. Point your knees and toes forward, about hip distance apart. Releve, squeeze your calves. It's a calf raise, naysayers, it's a calf raise. Plie, flat foot, squeeze everything up and in. It has to be active, it's easy to just stand up. It's easy to just stand up, squeeze tight. Come on, come on. It's a calf raise. Pinch your calves as tight as you can as you glide down your plie. So your knees glide forward, but your shoulders, your hips, still stacked over your ankles. You got it. Last three. Two. Stand up. Left side, body towards your bar. Grab your dumbbell. Set up your curtsy lunge, your best curtsy lunge. So I'm gonna not sabotage myself this time. Get enough forward so I can set my foot back then across my body, sink low. Curtsy with a tricep extension into a plie narrow press. Curtsy and tricep, plie. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, plie. Pick up the pace, yeah. Again, put your arm back in that toaster. Your elbow can go up and down, that is it. So I only see students wanting to be out here like a wide military shoulder press because it's more comfortable. Uh-uh. We're here for your rear delts. Glide your shoulder down your back. Your weight will come up. So good. So the press, you guys, is as you move, as you're stepping out to the side. So you're reaching your arm up, but you're not coming up with your legs. I know. I know. Tricep. Elbow in front of your shoulder. Tricep. Elbow in the front. Tricep. Elbow in front. Tricep. Elbow in front, so good, so good. Stay low in your hips. I know what this feels like. That is why we're doing it. We lean into the challenges. This is where the magic happens. You want to see change, you will feel it first. Stay in the work. You are worth this work. Come on. I promised you a leg burner. I did. I told you it was your leg day. Don't do legs after this. Last four. Three, get lower. Two. Hold your curtsy lunge, drop your knee, and pulse, pulse. Drop your knee like you touch it. Don't come onto it, it's really hard to get back up. Pulse, pulse. Find a sweet spot, glide your shoulders down your back. Squeeze your bicep behind your ear and squeeze your tricep. Come on, pulse. You get full range. You get full range. Five. Last three. Two. Curtsy lunge, bring your elbow in front, add a lateral leg, raise with a pet deck, lower, pinch it up, lower, pinch it, tap, kick it out, tap, flex your heel, flex your toes, hug your muscles to your bone, press it out, 
I don't want to swing in your leg. I'd rather have you slow it down. Hold and lock. Take it down. Hold and lock. Squeeze everything tight. So even though we're lifting and moving the right side of our body now, your left side, holy buckets, it's that slide of hands, right? Pay attention over here. This, everything over here is dying. It's on purpose. This is where you're meant to be. Right here in this moment, in this challenge, the discomfort of it all. This is where it happens. The magic. Just decide. You made the decision to be here. Now show up. How you show up on your mat is how you show up in other areas of your life. And they get uncomfortable, you guys. Lean into it. This is where you change. This is where you grow. Come on. Every time you squeeze higher, every time you put your mean face on and dig in, you benefit. You get stronger. Now think about every rep of every practice. If you just be here and lean in just like this. Holy buckets. Hold it up in three. Last two. Circle four. Nobody's gonna hurt for this. Come on. Circle. Squeeze your leg higher. Higher. Now crush your obliques. Get them up. Ooh. You got it. You got it. Nice job. Change them a little slower. Come on. Teeny. Tiny. Tracing. A golf ball. Maybe this room's golf for you. I don't know. Five. Four. Three. Two, reverse your circles. Oh, you knew we were doing it. You knew we were doing it. You knew it was coming. Come on. Micro bend if you're standing like I know it's on fire. I want your legs to shake, to tremble, to vibrate out of your hips. It's not going to happen. There's no dismemberment. I've never witnessed it yet. She taught a lot of classes. Lean in. Now pull your belly button up and into your rib cage. Because when we're tired, we tend to slump. Sit up tall. Lift your gaze. I don't care if you're looking at your ceiling. Lift it, because when you look down, you find struggle. You find what you're looking for. Choose to feel strong, proud, on fire. Five, three, two. Step out, low lunge to the top of your mat. Get your dumbbell, Mario jumps. Hop it up, touch, hop, touch, hop, touch, hop, touch. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Bigger, your last cardio burst. Get it up, up. Ah! Point your toes. Get up high. Higher. Touch your ceiling. Come on. I mean, be mindful of any fans. You got it. You got it. Let the dog bark. Let the kids laugh. Let your roomies wonder what's going on. You got this. Last five. Give it to me. Three, two, low lunge. Grab your dumbbell. Open up. Second position. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Hip thrust. Oh, it's sassy. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Hip thrust. Everything lifts. Lowers. Reset. Thrust it up. Up. Down. Flat. Thrust. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Hip thrust. Releve. Plie. Flat foot. Hip thrust. Keep going. Remember our rules to the biceps. You cannot skate. Think about it, but also think about the flex. Where am I going? Everything lifts, flex, stretches everything, lowers in your plate. On the flat foot, you hold a 90 degree curl, thrust it up. Hold, pinch as you thrust. Flex, you guys. One way, you could bicep curl all day with this prop. Not today. Squeeze it up, stretch it out, pinch it back, thrust it up. Yes! Imagine that it's heavier than it is. Flex it. Squeeze it. You're doing so good. You are doing amazing. We are coming to the end of this sucker. We're on side two. That means no surprises here. Uh-uh, friends. You've come too far. You've only come this far. Keep on going here for four. Three. Two. Hold your plie. Lift your heels. Pulse. 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 Sit down, get your hips low, in line with your knees. Pulse it, pulse it, squeeze your calves. It's like a little flex, little flex, little flex. Come at me, bro, it's that, it's that. Come on. Squeeze your belly up. Stay lower in your hips. Four, last three, two, 
Drop your heels, elbow back, palm forward, three quarter lift, three quarter plies, lat pull and press. Inhale, lower, exhale, press it up. Lower, press three quarters, pull, press it up. Inhale, down, exhale, press. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze it up. Remember, remember to score your back. Your biceps still get hit. That's just like a happy, not coincidence. Use your back. Pull with your shoulder. I want you to exaggerate the movement. Pull with your shoulder. My elbow is inches behind my back. And then press out, flare right here. Flare right here, beneath your armpit. You pull it in, press it out. Pull it in, press it out. We build our backs. One, because we need to work our entire body, right? We don't just like pick and choose what we want. It's not healthy. We build our backs to create the illusion of a smaller waistline. So this gets bigger, this gets smaller. Now think about it. If you don't care about your back, like, mm, I don't care. You care about snacks. I love snacks. I live for snacks. I will fuel my workouts with all the snacks. So now, now that you've got a goal, something worth fighting for, pull it in, press it out. Pull it in, press it out. Yes, friends. Three quarters less than your plies. That means time under tension. You do not get out. Your muscles are on freaking fire. On fire. Hot fire flames. Get into it. Press your knees back slightly. Ooh, did you feel that? Five more. Three. Last two. Hold your plie arm to the side. Second is just to lift your elbow. Be your top of your shoulder light up. Lift your heels and pulse. 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 Now press your knees back. Back. Back, back, back to a pulse. Two, three, four, press it back. Two, three, four, think about it, pulse it down. Two, three, four, pulse it back. Back fly, baby one. Just back, just back. Press your knees, press your baby fly. Back, four. Last three. Two. Exhale, hold it here, stay for a big breath in. Exhale, roll to the top of your bed, drop your dumbbell, come on to your knees. You're done with your bar, friends. Let's get weird. Weirder. But we're not getting back up. Put your dumbbell in your left hand, find tabletop. Place your right hand beneath your shoulder. Now open up to a modified side plank, right? So my knees beneath my hip. Extend your arm and leg at the same angle. My elbow's glued in space, it ain't gonna move. Inhale, lower your hip, think about a curtsy lunge here. Kick it out, tap it, and kick. Kiss your hips, kick it out, kiss it, kick it out. It's a tricep extension, it's a tricep kick back as well. I don't even care about your front leg, especially for all the dudes watching this, all the dudes, some of the dudes. If there are some dudes, your hamstrings are so freaking strong, your hips are a lot tighter. I don't care if you just dip and kick, dip, Kick it, dip, kick it, tap your hips, press it out, so good. Feel your obliques, but mostly feel your side booty. Bar is about burning all parts of your glutes. So we're not just squatting at different angles, right? We intentionally, deliberately burn out all three layers of your booty. Yes. Four, last three, hold it up in two. Hold it up, tiny circles. Forward, forward, forward. Squeeze right here. Forward, forward. Lock out your leg, press your heel. Light up your tricep. Put your shoulder down. Yes, hold your weight. Circle, maybe you drop your weight. Circle, it's just as good. It's just good. We use the props to create engagement. Once you have the engagement, dish the props so you keep good form, just burn out. Reverse your circle to three. Last two. Reverse, send it back. Back, back, back. Woo. Teeny tiny. Lift your heel and line with your hips higher. So even though we're lifting here and burning out, we're still, we're still hitting this. Come on. It's that slide of hands. I told you it's tricky. Last three, two. Come back to tabletop. Put your weight back in your left hand if you dropped it. Bring your right forearm down across your body. Now cross your heels. Lift your left leg to a hover. Cross it back, thread the needle just like before, brace through your belly. Now open and kick. Squeeze your shoulder, squeeze your butt cheek back. Round out, brace through your belly, thread the needle. Open up and kick it back. Ground down. 
Open up and kick back. Your right butt cheek should be on fire. Your core is working and stabilizing so much here. This is the bulk of your core work. We're not going to be crunching, crunching, crunching after this. So brace in your belly. Hug your navel up and into your spine. Keep breathing. Go slow. When you come to the top, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your back, pinch with the back. Pull them behind your body. Yes, the attitude. We're in bar. It's an attitude butt lift. Sure is. Last five. Four. Hot damn. Three. Drop to your right hip. Stay on your forearm. Extend your legs long, hug them above your back. Inhale, reach, exhale, be up. Reach it, be up. Hover, be up. To your hip, roll to your booty. To your hip, to your butt cheek. Hip, butt cheek. Hip, butt cheek. Working through your obliques, but your entire core is engaged. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there. We are almost there. Stay in the work. You get a butt massage, the butt massage. I feel like I know this in a lot. I feel like I always think about massage. It's intentional. You need this. Four. Last three. Two. Come up and roll to the other side. V up from your left hip. Left hip, left booty. Roll your hip, come to your booty. Hip, crunch it up. Hip, crunch it up. Squeeze through your right oblique. You should feel the twist, the contraction across your abdomen. Keep going, keep going. Almost there, my friends. Five seconds. Last three, two. Come on from your hip to the left side, the opposite side. Put your dumbbell in your right hand. Tabletop, modified side plank. Extend your leg long. You curtsy hip dip, kick out. Curtsy hip dip, kick out. Kiss him, kick it. Maybe you don't even curtsy, maybe just kiss and kick. Kiss it, kick it, kiss it, kick it, kiss it, kick it. Sorry for the dizzying display of which way I want to point my body. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You just roll around on the floor, that's fine. Keep going, keep going. Maybe it's time you drop your prop. Ego has no place in the challenge. Because when you're feeling challenged, you also have to know when enough is enough. If your arm's on fire, if your form's going out the window, drop it. You're there. You've got the resistance. You've built the sensation. Now you burn out. Last three. Last two. Come back to the tabletop. Bring your left forearm perpendicular across your body. Hover your right knee across behind your left ankle. You thread the needle. Open and squeeze back. Close your hips, brace your belly. Open them, squeeze back. Close. Open and squeeze back. So good. Close it. Open and squeeze back. You're almost there. You are almost there. You got it, you got it. Five more. Last three, two, Oh, press up to a modified side plank. We're back in it. We're back in it. Just tiny circles. Did we do this? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's over. We're just sealing the deal. Just sealing the deal. Last four, three, two. Release to your seat. Let's call it. Let's call it. Good job. Come on to your bottom. Find a figure four stretch from your seat. Bring your right ankle above your left knee. Pull your heel towards your booty. Take this from your seat. So you can really control the stretch through your abductor, your side booty. We've killed it. It needs this stretch on your back. You have to struggle and sweat through some hamstrings. Step two, don't bother. Flex your toes, press your knee away from your body. Gentle sway. Whoo. Stay for the big breath in. Exhale, extend your legs long. Move any well-deserved abundance out of the way. Inhale, your arms overhead. Exhale, seated forward fold. Grab the knife edge of your feet. Ooh, not really new here. The knife edge of your feet. I said not the top to your toes. The outside, so you stretch your entire hamstring. Bend your knees as much as you need to so you can hinge from your hips. Keep your back flat. And then slowly work to straight. Mine will never straighten, ever. It's fine but feel the stretch in the back of your legs. 
maybe in your spine. Oh. Inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, slowly roll up. Figure four, other side, left ankle above your right knee. Pull your heel towards your booty, flex your toes. Press your knee away from your body, gentle sway. Breathe in. Exhale, extend your legs long, slowly lower all the way down to your back. Inhale your arms overhead for full body pencil stretch. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Allow them to fall to the left side for a supine twist. Stack your right hip over your left. Glue both shoulder blades down to your mat. Stay and breathe. Gaze where it's comfortable. Feel the stretch in the middle of your back. If you have any lower back sensation, release your heels from your booty, your knees from your chest. Big breath in, exhale, slowly roll back to your center, hug your knees and reset your spine. Allow them to fall to the right, supine twist. Same rules apply, stack your left hip over your right, plant your shoulders on your mat, stay and breathe. Looking for the same sensation, not the same posture. For me personally on this side, I like my knees and my ankles touching the edge of my mat so my shins are parallel with it. Let me try it on. You can also take a hard pass. Do what feels good in your body. Save your breath in. Exhale, come back through center. Give yourself a huge, huge squeeze for all the hard work you've put in. Release to your shots. It'll pull you out in just a moment. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Take this time, this opportunity to check back in. Thank yourself for all the hard work you've put in on your mat and think about reaping your rewards. When we're faced with challenge, it's easy to be doom and gloom. But so often out of that challenge arises a new opportunity, growth, maybe you evolve. For me personally, I can tell you my mom comes up from Texas every summer and this is the first summer I've actually been able to see her because I wasn't going to work in the gym slash studio, then dinner, then showers, then go to bed and do it all again the next day, right? My kids, my relationship with them has changed. Like I have way more time with them than I need right now. 
but we have a better relationship. I'm more present in their life. I know them better. So all these opportunities have come out of a place of negativity, a place where I was scared and I didn't know what was going to be in store for me, but ended up being the best thing for me. I can reprioritize my life. I can choose where I put my time, where I put my energy. And you can too. Take this weird time to reassess your quote, quote, normal and see if it actually serves you. Decide, just decide for yourself what you want your life to be. You have that right. And frankly, friends, you deserve it. When you're ready, slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Your eyes can remain closed. Inhale your arms overhead, one final stretch. Exhale your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. Look at them. We seal our practice with namaste. Thank you. Awesome job, you guys. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Hope to see you soon.